Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Samantha Pollack. Today I'm gonna show you this bend to nut fail. So I wanted to do a cute bend to nut out but it didn't work as planned. In this video I'm gonna give you some tips how to not do a bend to nut out. As always, my hair is freshly washed. My hair is damped, probably 70% dry. I section my hair from ear to ear and I'm gonna focus on the back section. So I think this is the first thing I did wrong. I made the sections way too big. It wouldn't be a problem if I had enough drying time, but that wasn't the case. I used whipped cream by curls and I used a diamond brush to detangle the hair. I also used one pump of foam by Camilla Rose Naturals. You want to make sure that the hair is smooth and then coil the hair around your fingers. What you're gonna do now is continue coiling and wrapping to make a bantu knot. Also, you don't want to make the bantu knot too tight, otherwise you're gonna have a headache. You can use bobby pins to secure the nuts. I did that on the first three bantu knots. That will keep it from unraveling. Now I just repeat the steps on the other sections, applying cream, applying foam, and then twist into a bento nut. I went to bed with bento nuts and that was the worst thing ever. Goodbye night rest. I used a little bit of oil on my hands to unravel the bento nuts. So this is where the bento nut fill started. The hair wasn't completely dry so I sat under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes was definitely not enough, but I had somewhere to be. I couldn't sit on the hood dryer for much longer. I unraveled the bento nuts and the hair was already frizzy. So I thought I want to elongate the hair and I want to dry the hair a little bit more. So why not use my blow dryer? Another mistake because the hair was already frizzy and it got a little bit worse. Next mistake, using a hair pick. Because you know I love volume, I love big hair. By using the hair pick, the definition was kinda gone and also my hair got a lot more frizzy. So what I did the next day is put my hair in a high puff and that was actually cute. So just remember these tips when you're doing your bento nut out. This is definitely not a tutorial. This is a video with tips showing you that in this YouTube world, it's not all about sunshine and rainbows. Even I can feel. I hope you've learned something from this video. Until the next time, bye.